Hello, all my Taurus friends, and thank you for joining me on Indigo Goddess 1111. I'm here bringing you your January 2018 love reading. Um, this is for those of you in the Twin Flame journey. Um, I am going to draw five cards for the Divine Feminine and five cards for the Divine Masculine. Um, either one of uh, the Divine Counterparts can be a Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. They do not both have to be. Um, but if you are the Divine Feminine Taurus, uh, then the Divine Masculine is the mirroring um, energy. If you are cross-watching and your Divine Masculine is the Taurus, um, then you are then the top row. If that makes sense. It'll make more sense as we go along. Um, if you are um, different signs, then you watch each one and then just put the two together. Um, this uh, this reading will be um, centered around stay optimistic about your love life. So this is for those of you in the Twin Flame journey who are in current separation from your divine counterpart. Um, it says positive thinking and faith will bring you two together. So um, just keep the faith and stay positive. Spirit and angels can you give me five cards for the divine feminine, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Four representing one for each week of the month of January 2018. And the fifth card, the marrying energy of the divine feminine. So can I get five cards for the divine feminine, please? Okay, Spirit is wanting me to cut the cards this time. That we will do. And then five cards for the Divine Masculine. Oops. Okay, and also I'm wanting to cut this one. I am using the Gilded Tarot, for those of you wondering. I will be clarifying with the Master Deck of Tarot. And then um, later on, I will be pulling cards from the Deck of Sexual, Tarot of Sexual Magic. And um, as well as, I'm going to just pull all my cards now so then I can just channel them all at once. I'm going to pull a card for each Divine Masculine and Feminine from the Helpers of the Hidden Realm Oracle Deck by Colette Barrett Reed. Um, I get one card now for the Divine Feminine. Some, oh. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. So for the first week, for the Divine Feminine, we have the Chariot in Reverse. The Masculine is the Moon in Reverse. For week two, we have Strength in Reverse and the Emperor in Reverse. For week three, for the Feminine, we have the Magician. For the Masculine, we have the Five of Wands in Reverse. For week four, we have the Ace of Swords for the Feminine and the Five of Pentacles for the Masculine. The overall energy feel for the Divine Feminine for the month of January for Taurus, is the Page of Wands. For the Masculine, it's the Knight of Cups. So I'm just going to pull my clarifying cards quick, and we will get started with the channeled messages. Can I get a clarifying card for each card on the table, please? I'm just flying out of here. Okay, so in week one of January, the Divine Feminine has the Chariot in reverse, clarified by the Ace of Cups. So, um, Divine Feminine, you are not moving anywhere. Um, 
because you feel that the person you are currently with is your divine masculine. You feel that they are who you are meant to be with. Um, Spirit wants another clarifying card with a different deck. Okay, that's different. Okay, can I get a clarifying cup card on the chariot and the ace of cups spirit? Okay, Spirit is saying that the, the person that you are with, um, Taurus, who you are currently with right now, you feel you are not moving forward because you're like fighting the separation because you feel this is your, your divine masculine. You feel this is your twin flame. But they are encouraging you to let them go, um, to let this marriage or long-term relationship end because this is not your twin flame. This is a false twin flame. This is a very important message for a group of you out there. Spirit is advising you to let this relationship go, Taurus. Um, there's lots of secrets and betrayal, and they're not offering you any stability because this is not your real twin. Um, they are deceiving you, and they are um, possibly s offering their stability to somebody else behind your back. And they are moving on. They are letting this go. Um, they are going to be moving in the month of January. Wow, I've never had a twin flame reading like this, quite like this one before. Um, Spirit is saying that you're lacking the strength. You feel like this situation is controlling you, and it's not. You're going to have communication coming in that is going to, um, going to really require the strength to keep it all together. Um, and this is for those of you who are together with a relationship right now. You are coupled, you are married, and you feel this is your twin flame, but things just aren't right right now. Spirit is saying that it's not right because it's not your twin to let them go, Taurus. Um, whether you are on the male side of it or the female side of it, whoever has the female energy, you're the one holding on. Whoever has the male energy, you know this isn't your twin flame and you are moving forward without them. <clears throat> the Wheel of Fortune is here and and that's just it. The wheel is going to turn and they are going to move on, Taurus. And they're not. They're going to... See, they have the Emperor in reverse because they know this is not where they're meant to be in the second week of January. They know that they, are, they do not hold any power here within themselves within making a change in their life, um, making a change for the better for others. So they're going to walk away and take some time just to um, get over any past hurts. Um, any, I'm hearing addictions. This person has a trouble with addictions. So if you are a Taurus female energy that is involved with a divine mask or involved in a relationship, whether it be a marriage or a longstanding committed relationship, and they're struggling with addictions, they're going to walk away. I, I see a group of you are going into like a treatment facility maybe because you want passion brought back into your life. This is for the, uh, for the masculine energy. You want passion brought into your life and you know it. And you know what it's going to take to get that. And that's what you're going to go do. And it's going to cause this wheel to turn. So for you divine masculines that are taking that step, to get the help, congratulations, because that's not easy, um, especially when your divine feminine is not supporting you. Now, I apologize. This is for a very specialized group of you um, going through this right now, but Spirit really wants this group of you to hear this message because it is very important um, to really take, take a glance around and see if the partner you're with, if you feel they are your twin flame, but things just aren't right. You feel they're cheating on you or they're having affairs or they're having addictions to drugs, sex, gambling, anything like that. And they're getting help. Really consider this message being for you because it is very important is what spirit is saying. You have the tools though, Taurus or divine feminine to make a life of what you want. You are an entrepreneur. You own your own business. You are very go-getter. You have everything it takes 
to start over. So let, let it go. Move on. Um, you will move on with emotional hurt, but you will move on for the better. The Divine Masculine in the third week has the Five of Wands in reverse. So they're giving up the fight. They are no longer fighting for this relationship. Um, they know they have a choice to make. And since they... they uh, I'm seeing it's being left up to the universe. The universe is going to step in. Um, I do see probably a tower coming shortly. Um, because it's time. Either you or them are... It's time for you to... Um, Make your stand in the world and um, and get together with your real twin flames and start that journey together. Oops. And start that journey together. Yeah. Because you're tired of... Oh, that goes for the masculine. Okay. This goes with the two of swords. You're tired of juggling two people. I see the divine masculine has two people in this. Um, and this is for... This is for the Divine Masculine. You are not a Taurus. The Divine Feminine is the Taurus. Is what I'm getting. Um, the Divine Feminine you are dealing with is a Taurus. Um, divine Masculine, I'm not sure what they are just yet. That has not come apparent to me. But you are going to... Uh, you're going to take a cool, calm approach to this Taurus, Divine Feminine Taurus, you are going to get to the truth and you are going to just really remain um, just cool and calm and collected and, and just take it from a really reasonable approach. Um, whoa. So that you, so that you can get a, a total um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? You really want to know everything. Like you want to know what happened, where it went wrong, what's been going on. So you're just going to take a step back and calmly approach this from a really logical uh, point of view. In the fourth week of January, you are going to get that truth that you were searching for. You are going to be successful in taking on the King of Swords energy. And you are going to get everything that you, all the answers you've been searching for. And it's going to end. You have been losing sleep at night over this. So Taurus, um, Divine Feminine, you are not surprised by this reading right now. It is going to end this time of sleepless nights, anxiety, depression, um, it's going to bring that all to a close because you're going to finally have the answers that you have needed. And, um, and it's going to make you realize that there's, there's another path out here for you, that this relationship was not everything that you thought it was. And that there's more out in the world than, than what you have been dealing with. And you're going to choose to move on. Um, and the end of the last week of January, the, uh, divine masculine. Um, you are an earth sign as well as what I'm hearing, but you're not a Taurus. So you're either a Virgo or a Capricorn. Um, you have the five of pentacles. So you are going to experience a time when you, um, you might have some financial issues, some financial struggles, but you're still going to, uh, you're going to feel like that you've just been left out. Something with money. You're going to be cut off financially. Um, you also have another five. Lots of fives on the ground here. Um, but it's not worth the fight. You're just going to walk away. You're going to let this, um, this period in your life come to full circle. You're going to let this complete... By the end of January, um, this this relationship I see will be over because you're both going to realize it. And the reason why I say that is because um, the marrying energy for the Divine Feminine Taurus, you are going to... Um,
you are going to allow uh, there's going to be a younger energy that comes into your life um, fire sign it's going to be Sagittarius Leo or Aries male is going to come into your life and they're going to help you see that if you like you're they're going to help you see a whole new world is what I'm getting. And you're going to take the energy of, that's fine, I'll let you in. But if I have one single doubt, I'll cut you out so fast. But they're going to warm your soul. They are going to give you a whole new hope to a relationship and what a real relationship is supposed to feel like. And I do feel that the energy that is coming in at the end of January is your real true twin flame. Um, and that's why this... We had to see the whole picture before to, you're going to know. This is going to warm your heart, soul, mind, body, world. It, it's, you're going to think the sun shines out, this person's, you know, and it does for you. This is your real twin flame coming in. Um, as far as the divine masculine goes, um, you have a, you have the knight of cups, so in order for this fire sign to come in and offer their love to you, who I feel is your real twin flame, um, this, this is either Capricorn or Virgo males. So I just did the Virgo reading not too long ago. We'll have to go back or I'll have to go back and look to see who, what sign you are connected with. But I do see it's a Sagittarius, Leo or Aries. They are also... You are going to offer your cup to them or them to you at the end of January here. Um, but first, you have to get over addictions. You are addicted to something, um, chemically or sexually. You are either um, you're either addicted to uh, like drugs, alcohol, sex, or gambling. You have to let that go. And I do see you being successfully completing that and up here I said that you are going to treatment or a facility of some sort to help you with this you are going to be successful in letting that go you are going to let that cycle end you are going to be so successful so congratulations either Virgo or Capricorn um, males congratulations because that is a big deal this has been something that has haunted your life for years um, that has taken over a part of you and when you allow that to end, allow that to be overcome, your twin flame is going to be standing there waiting for you, telling you, I knew you could do it. Now move towards me. That is a very different um, twin flame reading. I've never had something like that happen. Um, let me get a clarifying card for the marrying energies for each. So can I get a clarifying card for the divine feminine? Um, a Another clarifying card, please, right here. Okay. Oops. And you're allowing this to end. Thank God. You're allowing the backstabbing, the betrayal, the lies, the cheats, the... You're letting all that come to an end, and that is going to allow you to... Um, to... Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Taurus females, this is going to allow you to move on and allow your twin flame to come in. And for you Virgo or Capricorn males that I'm getting on the bottom here, look what you get after you defeat this devil and you allow the death card. How beautiful. You get that twin flame marriage, that twin flame commitment. I've never had two separate energies in a twin flame reading go their separate ways to find their actual twin flames, but this is so beautiful. And this is why my card at the beginning was stay optimistic about your love life. Even though it's not what you think it is now at the beginning of the month, look at what happens at the end of the month with two separate energies that are not even in the twin flame journey together yet. They both find their twin flames at the end. Like, I'm so excited over this. Like, I've never had something, a reading like this before, but how beautiful on, on every aspect. And just because, you know, you're not together with your twin flame now or you think this is your twin flame... Look at at the end of the month, how quickly things change and how beautiful spirit is with his message. Like this is just giving you guys hope that, you know, not where we're not always where we think we need to be, but sometimes we're right where we need to be 
to run into the things that are supposed to be. If that even made sense. I don't know. <laughs> but how beautiful. Congratulations, Taurus, Divine Feminine. And Virgo or Capricorn, Divine Masculine. I'm not sure how that... I'm not even sure how that happened, but that was amazing. So for our Divine Feminine uh, Taurus, it is the Altar Priestess is your overview. Um, preparation, prayer, and sacred ritual. Now is the time. You need to prepare for that real twin flame that's coming in. You need to release this false twin flame that you have been holding on to so desperately tight and allow this real twin flame to come in. You need to um, need, need to make uh, preparation. You need to allow yourself to let this new twin, your actual twin, your real twin come in. For the Divine Masculine in this reading, Survival and False Promises. So I'm actually going to read the book on this one because I'm not quite sure what spirit means by this as far as with it being a, a plot twist like that at the end. It says, when you stumble upon the desert prince, you receive a gift. The plant life that exists in the desert environment is well defeated. It is tough, though, and succulent even. Though it gets a little, it gets little to no water. In spite of external conditions, extraordinary life can form and thrive. So this has to do, I feel, with those that divine masculine in that lot in the reading that is battling addictions. It is saying that you know, even though, even though you're going through a hard time, circumstances may seem tough. It's only going to get better because if you be tough, you have courage and you dare to dream no matter what the circumstances, it may seem to be a hard time, but not only will you survive, you will thrive. And that just gave me goosebumps. You can do this, whoever this message is for. You go get that help that you are going to get in week two of January. You go be successful because it's coming. You will survive and you will thrive. Spirit is saying that over and over. In spite of conditions, you will succeed. Dry spells are also a true test of faith and courage. So expect nothing less than what is your most precious dreams. And just watch your miracles manifest. Because when you get clean and sober and you start walking the, the path that you were intended to walk when you came to earth, you are going to get everything and more. Because Spirit is saying you can do this and you will be stronger because of it. That is an amazing message who who definitely needed to hear it because you feel like you're you're at your end of your rope. You don't know what else to do. I'm going to go ahead and read the Altar Priestess card too for the Divine Feminine Taurus Females. It says, The stage is set and the world is waiting for you to take your place in sacred meditation and prayer. As your ally, the Altar Priestess brings the ritual of reverent interaction with the mundane world. You're being required now to set everything as sacred, all of life as a meditation, and every action as a prayer of devotion. When you are able to perceive the world in this way, your question will lead you to the appropriate answer. If all is sacred, how can anything be wrong? Ask how you can shift your consciousness to see your circumstances through the eyes of the divine, and you'll realize how everything is perfect right here and right now. So set your stage and allow the divine to work its magic. So, my goodness, that just gave me goosebumps, too. I'm so excited for whoever this reading was meant for. You are meant for beautiful things. And even though you two are not meant to be together, who this reading started out with, stay optimistic because positive thinking is going to bring you your real twin flame. Your real twins are both coming in at the same time at the end of the month. You just both have to get over this hump and allow each other to release each other. Um, because what is coming for you is so goddamn beautiful. I cannot believe it. Like, sorry about my language. It just slipped, but, um, how amazing and beautiful. I'm so happy for you guys. I'm going to end my reading on that just because it is just so amazing. Um, if you are the divine masculine in this reading that you are watching, um, look, watch the Virgo and the Capricorn readings and see if either one of them relate to this because that bottom energy for the Taurus, um, 
divine feminine. That was definitely an earth energy, but it was not Taurus spirit is saying it was either a Virgo or Capricorn. So, um, I'm interested to see if those, if that bottom row of the masculine relates to either the Capricorn or the Virgo reading, but, um, congratulations guys at the end of the month, amazing things are coming to you. Just stay positive, stay optimistic, stay grounded, stay beautiful. I'm sending you all the love and the light and have a wonderful month. God bless.